Igor and Cheryl, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to see you. you. Yes, well. really big fans, and we've got lots of fans watching. So tell us a little bit about what it's like to work on the show. Well, it's definitely a challenge. I know that uh, Igor has done pretty much every single restaurant. Um, and what we want to talk about today is some of the things that are behind the scenes that a lot of the viewers don't know. I know you joined the show relatively recently. So what's it like? What's the synergy like with you and Igor? And <laughs> Any issues? Um, you know what? I thought there might have been issues just because I was also a fan. And... Uh, it's been great. He's great to work with. We've done a lot of collaborating. Um, I know I always come up with crazy with his face. What is synergy? <laughs> come on. Well, Your English is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's great because I always come up with these crazy ideas and he sort of brings me back down to earth and reminds me that there's a budget and there's uh, a lot of things to consider and also the crazy time frame that we have. Um, so it's been great to work with him. He ain't going to be carried away with me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's always a good thing when uh, Igor stays till the reveal day to help me finish the, the restaurant. We um, have to deliver. Yeah. The bottom line is we have to deliver. Yeah, we have to. Like <laughs> I guess I like not. you. <laughs> so you, do you really do all the work? You do all the work on your own with, with your crew that we see there? Nobody else behind the camera? No. No. What do you see? That's what you get. I guess that's why you're so grumpy a lot of the times, huh? <laughs> it's very tiring. Very tiring. And they're all very annoying. <laughs> see, I would say... I, see, how does he get away with all of this? You know what? When he, he's there 24-7, he can do whatever he wants. And as long as my design is carried out, I don't care. See, the difference is she didn't bring me there. I was already there. Then she comes. Oops, she got to listen to me. <laughs> it's true. I don't really have a choice. And I, no, as a we tip... we work together. Jokes aside, we work together. We help true. each other. And uh, grumpy, you know, it's television. Can you just you bring him coffee? And from day two to day six, that's when you sort of ease back. Right. Day one's okay, hours, reveal. To work 30 hours straight, you're going to get grumpy no matter what. <laughs> Do you have a favorite designer? No. I'm not answering that. <laughs> no. How about chef? Uh, yes, I do have favorite chef. Yeah. Can you tell us? No. <laughs> uh, favorite chef? See, I, it can't be too biased because I've only been able to work with Massimo, uh, David Adji, and Corbin. And I still have yet to work with Lynn and um, Brad as well. So I can't really say myself. I know that they're a lot of fun and they're all very different. So And they've got great dishes. How often are you guys surprised? by Reveal Day yourselves, how well it came together? Uh, pretty much every time. You know what, if, <laughs> you, if you ever saw a restaurant uh, like five, six hours before Reveal, you would sometimes it looks worse than Demo Day. It really, like, we all always surprised when we're done, that we're actually done. And the thing is, really in the last two hours, that's when everything comes yeah, it together. Just suddenly starts coming together. Everything oh, yeah. Comes together yeah. And then I'm sure you can well, imagine. You can feel it from the show, and I never knew that this was actually in real time. Oh, it's in real time. And, um, you know, we, we, the show we bust our butts so to make short. sure it happens. It's too short to, to, to actually know what's happening there. It's really a miracle that it all happens. What's been the biggest miracle that you guys have had to pull that you can remember? Oh, my gosh. Anything over 2,000 square feet of a floor space is a miracle. <laughs> so we had a few of those. In our presentation, definitely a miracle. Um, especially when you, you don't have the budget. If you can make it happen and the restaurant owners are happy and they're crying, that's just amazing for us. It's a good feeling. Have you ever had a restaurateur or two restaurateurs ever get really upset with you and you kind of had to cut? Not yet. <laughs> well, that's great. 91 restaurants, that's quite the record. Not yet. Do you? I have, yep. Yeah, I've How met people that... Well, uh, but what? Well, what happened? Well, they just didn't like the design. And that was it. And that was it. And they weren't happy with what they saw. Imagine you work uh, 120 hours, you kill yourself, and then some, and then the owner walks in and they walk around and they're not happy. It's it's worse than throwing chairs around. It's very sour. You know what? Sometimes they even notice all the little details instead of noticing the beautiful the furniture picture. and the impact. So you know what? You never know, you never know what you can get. Um, some people notice the little cracks. Some people notice you know the beautiful marble. So it's really just one huge risk for us, and it takes us six days to realize that you know. And lastly, you talked a little bit about this uh, in the presentation, but have you ever ha have you ever um, come back and they've really just flopped the restaurants? Yes. For me, it's been 50-50, and not because of restaurant makeover. It's just because, A, you know, they're, they're, they have their own personal issues or they just didn't have the money to keep it going. Or, you know, it's not about us. It's, it's also a business that they are running. So it's up to them to sort of step up to the plate. And if they don't, sometimes it doesn't work out.